Hey, what's up? In today's video, we'll be talking about different kind of admin panels available for Laravel. So we'll be only, talk only talking about uh, popular packages and admin panel options that you can use for your project. So we'll be uh, talking about pros and cons of each of them so that it will be helpful for you to decide which one to choose for your next project. So let's get started. So first, uh, let's start with uh, Voyager. So Voyager uh, is the missing Laravel admin panel as it says. So the basic idea about Voyager is uh, it is a, a separate package that you can include on your existing project. So after installing it, uh, you'll get something like, uh, so before that, let's uh, see how can we install it. So inside uh, the documentation section, uh, you'll get inst installation instructions. So just uh, include it uh, and run this uh, this command with dummy data and you are good to go. So pretty easy to install. Uh, so once you install, uh, you'll have a admin panel at certain location like slash admin or something like that. So you can easily customize the uh, URL. So once you log in, so you'll have interface like this. So the pros of using it are it is uh, visually appealing, right? So it looks great. So it got uh, different features like media manager out of the box uh, where you can manage all of your images, files, uh, yeah, things like that. You can rename them, you can. Uh... So another feature is uh, it comes with the user management system out of the box. So uh, it got rules, permissions and everything. So another thing uh, is uh, there is a database section under tools. All right, so inside uh, the database section, it lists all the available tables, uh, your table in the database. And uh, on those table, you can easily add uh, bread. Uh, so which stands for uh, all CRUD, like browse, read, edit, add, and delete. So for example, I've already added the, uh, so for example, there is a users table and I've already added the bread so you can easily add or delete so once you add the bread you'll have uh, those link here like so for example there is users and after you add bread you have option to add new and do all things like add edit delete so this is a perfect uh, perfect for if you want to uh, manage anything like if you want to add something um, from your admin panel to certain tables, so you can, so it uh, it behind the scenes uh, automatically scaffolds all those views and uh, all the code necessary to do things like uh, add, edit, and delete, like these views, browse views. All right, so you don't have to write any code. Uh, so it uh, does all behind the scenes. You can also create a relationships. So things like that. So let's uh, talk about cons of Voyager. So if you are looking for a very uh, much customized option, it is uh, a bit hard to customize, although you can customize it. And another con is it is not easy to migrate to uh, production. So for example, if you are developing on uh, your local environment and you create all these uh, bread, uh, for different kind of different tables and if you want to migrate so since there is no code generated for uh, any of them uh, everything happens inside uh, the database right so either you have to just uh, copy the database and migrate it there so you cannot do that on migration although you can do uh, using migrations but uh, there are uh, some you need to uh, do some extra st steps like generate the migration from these tables. All right. So when you create uh, the bread for any uh, table, it creates everything in term of these data types. And from here it reads and displays the views necessary. So, so code is not generated, but it is all happening here on database. So which come, uh, which takes me to another point, uh, like, so for example, if you create any table from uh, Voyager, like 
we got option to create table as well so if you go to database so either you create table from migration or you create table from here as well so for example if some admin creates a table from here it is uh, very hard to track right so for development uh, you don't you have no idea what tables are created you have to just call, explore the uh, data whole database and then copy into your development and then proceed developing if you need so so if you generate or if you tweak anything in table uh, it do not generate uh, the migration file so that you can uh, see what are the fields available you have to follow the database method like copying exporting database and importing that so which might be plus point or minus point so let's uh, move on to next uh, admin panel which is uh, so which is paid option but uh, it will generate uh, the code which is uh, it is quick admin panel so idea here is um, unlike the um, unlike voyager you cannot use it on your uh, existing project it is for new project although you can generate some code and copy it on your uh, on your project like if you want some code for user management system you can generate it from here and then copy it there it might work but uh, basically it is for a new project so if you are a starting project yeah you can use it here so it it got some um, uh, a lot of options like stripe payment integration and like uh, so basically it uh, contains the modules which you can install like data table module stripe payment paypal payment and much more so it is uh, so ajax data table system calendar yeah these are the module available for the package so there are demo videos and so it is not free so if you are building a big project it is uh, i think it is worth so there is another admin panel with name uh, Laravel admin by G song. So it is also a package that you can use on your existing project. But uh, yeah, it have a lot of options like these. But uh, I don't feel comfortable with it. You have to learn uh, to do how to do these. There are documentation if you prefer. Uh, I haven't used this but uh, you can try it and so it is quite popular but uh, so let's move on to another admin panel uh, that I like so this is a uh, Laravel admin panel uh, so this is not package this is whole project uh, this uh, for a, if you are starting new project so what uh, uh, it will do it will build uh, on top of this Laravel boilerplate which is another uh, great option so um, it got different uh, features uh, additional features from laravel boilerplate like module generator sidebar cms module blog module and these different kind of module so uh, the thing here is uh, you install this new project and you got some options like user management uh, and some blog module so like voyager you uh, you just create a new module from a module generator available here so which will generate a new card so it will also generate uh, uh, the files for api like you can use for api uh, although it, it it is uh, really cool if you are building a big project it generates all necessary code so whereas in voyager uh, it gen uh, do not generate any code that you can work on so although you can customize uh, those but this uh, purely generates the code all views that you can uh, customize and controller model so basically it is uh, the model uh, the generator file generator it generates everything so you can check out these as well so by the way i've created a video using this laravel admin panel i will link it on description so what I feel here is uh, you have a bit more control uh, on how things go you can easily customize every bit of code without uh, much because you already know Laravel uh, it is all those code there and you do not have to learn anything much if you are using this and let's move on to another package uh, in which it is uh, built on so this is Laravel boilerplate 
so laravel boilerplate is just like uh, the previous that i discussed laravel admin uh, so uh, it got some less feature than the laravel admin like uh, these blog module and other things discussed here so if you don't need them and if you want to build a very custom application uh, it is way to go go so i also like this so uh, this admin panel generates a lot of unnecessary code if you don't need them it generates a uh, code for api for uh, different views and yeah basically the module generator generates uh, all code like requests and requests for everything uh, request file uh, i think traits everything so if you are on a small project and if you want to build a very custom application uh, this is the way to go so it, it comes with user management by default you don't have to do since user management is necessary for uh, almost all application it also looks uh, great so it uh, built on bootstrap 4 whereas i think this one is on bootstrap 3 so the admin panel of this laravel, laravel boilerplate looks uh, really good so it it gives you more control that you can uh, you can add any feature you want so since uh, this is not a separate package that you can include it is also it is suitable for new project and cannot be used for in existing project so these are some option uh, let's discuss about uh, non-visual so uh, these are all visual admin panel by visual i mean you can you can just uh, switch to graphical interface and then uh, create the card from here from this bread builder and it will generate all necessary it will scaffold all necessary views uh, required to do all these operation and in uh, so next uh, we'll uh, discuss about a laravel generator called infiom so what this is uh, is uh, it generates all code but uh, and there is no visual aspect uh, visual interface although they are building visual i think that is on beta so it will generate all the crud from a uh, terminal so you just type in some command and it will generate all necessary crud for anything you want like yeah PSP artisan if you um, api so it also uh, creates the api scaffolding uh, tests uh, so you have uh, control over what you want to create or what you don't want to create so if you don't want to create the api code you just create a scaffold you just scaffold the views and create the code uh, necessary that you require so with this you have uh, uh, too much control you can build all these kind of admin panel uh, using this package so rather than admin panel i consider it as a building block for the admin panel so you can build uh, your own admin panel using this package so it has api generator scaffold generator so there are different commands for each of them so it just extends the artisan commands like so as you can see here you, and there are commands like php artisan vom api so this will create all api related code scaffolding will create all the views uh, to do crud like create edit like in boiser and api scaffold will create the api as well as scaffolding so it will create both yeah so you have control over uh, all so if you just want api you can create if you are just want these so unlike other where it will generate everything and you have to get rid of things that you do not need yeah so by the way this is also a package that you can use on your existing project so there is a similar uh, package uh, like infiom uh, named crud generator this is also like that uh, it will also generate all this it will also scaffold all the crud related code from your terminal so uh, so it is a bit uh, simpler you do not i think it do not generate api related code but it is uh, also it also generates all the views so yeah you might consider also consider using it although i prefer this infiom over that i've used it on one of my project like uh, where we built a subscription website so you can check that out as well 
and another package so although it is not a admin panel but uh, this package so laravel uh, especially laravel permission so this is the package used by most of those admin panel that i uh, refer previously like laravel admin so they also use this package to uh, create the user management system for their admin panel so yeah this is also a building block for admin panel so you can use this package to uh, create a fully functional uh, authentication system like user management system with permission and rules so yeah you can use this uh, this infium credit generator with uh, with this uh, especially laravel permission to create your own admin panel so i will link uh, i will put the link to video in where we built subscription website and i've used these both plugin to create a simple user management system so if you want if you already uh, if you are very comfortable with laravel and you want to create a custom admin panel you can go that way by using this infium generator with the laravel permission to create uh, your own admin panel so you don't have to learn anything new uh, if you are using uh, these so if you if you don't want to go that way uh, like installing this and this and create that you can use this laravel boilerplate which already contains uh, these uh, i think this yeah this laravel permission already integrated inside it and you will have all necessary views for uh, user management system and later on you can create uh, other CRUD operations by using any of these packages to generate a CRUD so so these are options for uh, more customizable admin panels all right so uh, those are some of my views regarding admin panels uh, hope you liked it and if there are any new uh, or any better options you can let me know on comment section i'll check them out yeah hope it helped you and i will see you in the other video bye